hi guys it's sarah i'm back with another video and today i'm doing some more inktober stuff and this piece in particular has been like a passion project of mine and i've been wanting to do this for years and i never got around to it and i don't know why but um this is of izumi from tokyo black cat girl which was from the original concept comic for tokyo mew mew and it was originally supposed to be a horror genre and in my head I was kind of wondering like how how would that look how would that all play out how would she you know how would her whole essence come together so I was trying to capture that and I really wanted you'll see later um there's kind of like these skulls on the bottom and I really wanted that to be like the focal point and this whole thing I feel like it came together pretty well even though her mouth smeared and I always mess up the mouth somehow, I don't know why, but I couldn't wait for the ink to dry and I just like went over it with marker and I just totally dragged her like the side of her mouth down and I was so upset. <laughs> I was like, no! But um, other than that, I think it came together pretty well. Um, I just, I really wanted to get around to doing this and I figured since it's um, Inktober it would be perfect and I just really wanted to finally do this piece because I put it off for just a long time because I feel like I was kind of scared like you know just fearing like what if I can't get it right what if I can't capture what I want to what if it doesn't turn out right but I feel like that's kind of the whole beauty of drawing like you you draw something you don't like it you move on you make mistakes that's fine you'll learn from them um, so I just really wanted to finally just do this piece, you know, finally get it to paper, finally finish it. Um, I've been having a book that I keep in my nightstand where I write like things down that I want to draw because especially at night I get all these ideas and I just like, I'll forget them in the morning. So I put it in my book and now I'm going to try and finish them all. <laughs> so yeah, um, lately I've been using a Faber-Castell small brush pen. And also, it I got this pen from Walmart, what was it? It's a Pilot V5 fine tip pen, I believe? Um, I'll, I'll list them down below, the exact names, because I can't remember right now. But I really like those, I don't know why. I used to not like brush pens, I used to think they were messy. But I feel like I've been trying to be more free-flowing with my whole like art style. I don't know if you can see that or not but I'm trying to not be, I feel like if you're really a really precise artist, you envy the people that are really loose and flowy with their art, and then the people that have like the loose and flowy art style are envious of the people that have like a really concise and like pristine line work type of art. I don't know. You always want what you can't have. Oh well. <laughs> but I've just been trying to like experiment with different things, and I never thought honestly I'd ever use a brush pen, but I've been loving it, so. <laughs> but yeah, let me know how your guys' Inktobers are going. Um, I really hope you like this piece. This has been something I've been wanting to do forever. I feel like I said that like five times. Oh well. <laughs> but um, I really hope you guys like this piece. It's like kind of special to me because I've been wanting to do this since I was pretty little. So anyway, I hope you guys like this. All my links are down below and I will talk to you next time. Bye!